Hey guys, it's Daps and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me in this one. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create super simple mega menu in WordPress using Elementor. I will also show you how you can create a mega menu literally for free and also how you can create a button menu inside of your WordPress page or blog using Elementor literally for free. Let me show you exactly what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. Right on my screen here, if you just come to this menu here, you can see a super simple, easy drop down like this. And you can also have a mega menu like this. This kind of mega menu would definitely improve the UI UX of your website. And that's not everything I'll be showing you in this tutorial. I will also be showing you how to create a button drop down like this. So if you come over to this button here, if you come down here, you'll be able to see sample links or whatever you want to add as a button drop down inside of your WordPress website using Elementor. So if this excites you already and you're interested to see how you can do this on your own WordPress website, without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials immediately. So I have a WordPress website here that we're going to be using for tutorial purpose. So let's just come to appearance. Let's come to menu. I literally don't even have any menu here. So let's create a menu. Let's call these dApps and then let's create this menu. All right, good. So I have some pages here. I might just want to add all of these pages to my menu. Uh, so let's do this. All right, so you see we have this here. So let me save this menu. I might make this my primary menu and then let's save this menu. Good, Dabs has been updated. So now let's come to the front end of this website. Now let's refresh this. So you can see now that I have this menu here. So let's come back here. Let's say under my WP here, I want to have sub menu. And this might be any type of menu. It can be a menu link into a page or to maybe a link to another website. Whatever it is, it's literally fine. So let's say, for example, I want to have this sample page as a sub menu under WP. So what I will just do is just come down here and drag this literally under. So this would not be like this. It would just be somewhere inside of this. So immediately we do that, you can see that this has been labeled as a sub menu. Let's say I want to have another menu and I want to link this maybe to another website entirely. So I can come to custom links here. I can maybe put the link to the website I want to link to. Let's say I want to link to my website dabsahari.com and I want to just say dabs and then I can add this to menu and I can just drag dabs under this same menu and I can save this menu. So right now, if I come here to my page here and refresh this page, so I have my sample page here and also dabs here. So let's say, for example, again, I can come back here. I want another sub menu under dabs. And let's just create another custom link. For example, I can just make this uh, random and I can just say meet dabs. And let's add this to menu and I can just drop these under dabs. So you can see the hierarchy right now. It's just like you're designing a tree. You keep adding things on that and then you have those things as sub menu. So right now I can save this menu. Good. And I can come back to my page here and then I can refresh this. So if you come down here, we can see that we have dabs here. Unfortunately, we're not able to see the sub menu under dabs right now because of our padding here so what we can do is just come back here and then we can just easily just drag uh nelio down here and drag this here okay so that we can create a lot of space here and let's save this right now so hopefully we should be able to see our sub menu there so now let's refresh this all right so now let's come down here so you can see we now have meet dabs here so this is how super simple and easy it is to use the default WordPress menu to create sub menus. So let's take it a step ahead. Let's see how we can create more sophisticated ones and also a mega menu using an amazing free plugin. So now let's come back to our back end here. Since we have Elementor on here, there's a plugin we're going to be installing. So let's come to plugins. Let's add new and let's search for a plugin called Element Kit. We have this plugin here, Element Kit Elementor add on by WPMet. So we're going to be installing this plugin and also activate it as well. Good, upon doing that right now, we can come here, we will see that we have a place now for element kit, either footer, widget builder. 
Let's come to the element kit. So here, a lot of things you can do here, but if you scroll down, you want to come here to make sure that the mega menu option here is turned on. That's very, very important. So now that we have turned that on, we can then come back to our appearance here and then come to our menu. So once we come to our menu now, you would see that we now have the option to enable mega menu by element kit. So let's turn that on. After turning this on, if we come down to the menu now, you will see now we now have an option here for mega menu. So let's say we want to create a mega menu for our own uh, link here. So let's click this. And then the first thing we want to do is to turn on the mega menu. The next thing is for us to edit our mega menu content. And immediately here will be launched inside of Elementor Builder here for us to build our mega menu. You might be wondering how complicated it might be for you to be able to create a mega menu, but you don't need to worry. Let me show you how super simple and easy it is for you to get this done. So right now here, let's just launch element kit here. So from here, let's switch to sections and then let's scroll down here till we find mega menu. So you can see here that we have some mega menu here, mega menu for phone and tablet, mega menu two, mega menu electronic dark, Whatever it is, I just want us to just insert one of them. So you can see that with a click of a button now, we now have a mega menu that we can customize. So we can customize this inside of Elementor. We can add icons to them. We can do whatever we want to do until we are okay with what we want. I wouldn't want to waste so much time right now. I just want to show you how this works. If you're able to use Elementor, you know how super simple and easy it is for you to build this kind of menu. So right now we can just easily come to the plus icon here and we can drag in whatever we want to drag. So you can see we can just drag our video anywhere we want whatsoever on the page. Just like that. That's how super simple and easy it is for you to customize this. I can delete this right now and then I can just publish this. Once this is published, I can just easily come here and close this. And now I can save my mega menu. And then I can come here and save my menu. Before we go to our website to go and check our menu, there's still something we need to do for us to be able to see our mega menu. So if you come back here, you will see it says after enabling this, you need to use element kit header and footer module with this menu for you to be able to see your mega menu. So for us to be able to do that is super easy. So let's come back to element kit here and let's come to header and footer. Element kit would want us to go through a process of onboarding first. So let's just follow the process. Uh, then welcome to element kit. Let's go to the next. And then let's go to next, next. This is boring, but fortunately we have to do this. Let's save changes. Good. So after this is done, now we can then come back to our header and footer. And right now you see we don't have any right now. So let's add new and then let's call this header. So the type is header here. So you can choose in between header or footer. So in case you want to design your footer, you need to select footer. But I'm going to leave this because it's header. And we want this to show on the entire site. This is fine. If you want to show this on specific pages, you might need to consider using the pro. And then let's turn this on. Let's save changes. And then we have our header ready. But again, we still need to edit this. And then let's edit this content. And this will launch up Elementor for us to use. Okay, right now, so we can build our header here. So let's launch the element kit as well. Let's use the template again to build this. So now let's come to section. So if we scroll down here, we would see that we have option here for headers that we can easily bring into our website. So you can choose whatever template that you like. There are quite a number of them here, and I think this is super, super amazing. Uh, but for the purpose of this example, I will just pick any random one here, and I would insert this. Good. So right now in your case, you might need to update this to your logo, and then we need to select our menu here. So I'm going to select DAPS as our menu, the same menu we have created earlier. So you can see already we have a drop down here for menu, so you can see that our mega menu is already showing here even inside of Elementor. So now let's publish this menu. And that's it, we are done here. So now if we come to the front end of our website here and we refresh this page, so we can see what we have right now. 
how super cool is this menu now and then if we come here you can see we now have this mega menu here and i think this is mind-blowing this is mesmerizing so you can come back here you can come to element kit you can check up all they have so you can see different type of mega menu they have here you can import them into your menu and start using them and i think this is beautiful so i believe you are get the idea right now you can close this we can exit this to wordpress it's not necessary that this has to be menu alone this can also happen inside a page uh, so right now we wouldn't end up plugin to get that done and that plugin is a plugin here called wp beats add-on for elementor page builder these are add-ons that we can use with elementor and that's why i love elementor quite a number of plugins that you can use so we can download the plugin here and upload to our wordpress website but i can just easily just copy this here come back to our wordpress website then i can come to plugins and then i can add new and then i can search for this plugin so we've got this plugin here so let's install this plugin and let's activate it uh, let's keep this process so that's it so now let's come to settings so the only thing we are concerned about using here is the drop down button so it's turned on by default and we are good to go i would advise that you always turn off everything you don't need so that this would not slow down your website the same thing for element kit go down there any of the elements you're not using that free for you to use ensure that you turn them off and then you save settings this would help the speed of your website significantly that's good so now let's continue now we can just come to any random page we can even add a new page let's just edit this with elementor so right now uh this is empty but i can just use this add-on here to build something for me so let's just say i just want to bring this into my page briefly super beautiful so i have this element here and you can see how super beautiful this look so let's say i want to add a drop button here so i can just come here and search for drop so you see we have this drop down button here so i can easily drag this anywhere on the page i want to create this drop uh, button so right now you can see we have this button here so after clicking on this you can see we have menu one menu two but we can change that from click here it can be download now so that's it here the button size you can make it normal you can make it bigger you can align this to the center and then your button icon too as well you can customize this you might make this before or after whatever works for you uh, so you can see this is before but i think after looks more okay so now we can come down to our drop down items so for example this is item one so this is download now we can just say download link one i can copy this so we can also add an icon to our download link so i can just come here and just say download so you can see we have a download icon here i can just use this and insert this so we can make this before or after too as well but i think after is fine and then you can set a link to your download here but i will just uh, make this bare uh, so that's it for download link one we can i can just easily delete this and then i can duplicate this so instead of download link one i can just change this to two right and then i can duplicate this again and then i'll make this three so this should be good for me for this purpose here as well i might want to change this icon to to something around download so maybe i use this for or maybe something more like this good so let's all right uh, but you get it the idea so if you come down here so you can see download link one two three so again you can style this further you can come to the style option here and once you come down here you can change the typography you can change it to whatever you want i love to use poppins so i might want to change this to poppins so you can see that has changed the size you may want to increase the size or reduce the size whatever it is that works for you 
uh, the weight is 600. I might want to make this uh, 900. Uh, we can see what that looks like right now, and I think that's cool. So whatever works for you is fine. So you can change the color. Background color is black. This is white, and I think I like that. Uh, you can come down here for the drop down as well. You can style that too. The text is black. As, as you can see here, the background is uh, something very light gray. You might want to change the background to maybe red that uh, on you really. So if I do that, if I come there, you can see this right now. You can also come to the over here and also select the color. Uh, once you over on it, you can see the color here and that's the color here. I might want to make the over color, for example, white, for example. Uh, so you can style this however you want. So you can see this. This is good. So, uh, okay, this is the text color. The text color is now white. And then the background color here can be maybe black. Let's see how that would look. So if I come here, so you can see this is beautiful, right? So you can style this however you want to, and I believe this is super, super simple. So once you are done here, I can publish this page, and then I can have a look at my page. Just like that, we have a beautiful menu here, mega menu here, and we have a uh, drop-down button here as well, and I think this is super, super cool. So that's my time for this tutorial. I think you can experiment with this. You can go check this tool out. And if you find this video useful, give me a thumbs up. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this from me, subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you get notified when I keep posting awesome tutorials like this. I'll see you in another one. And until then, stay safe.